carbon bike or aluminium bike? This question is very complex and with all the countless videos out there on the subject, the decision can be daunting and difficult to make. Which is why in this video, we are going to roughly give you an idea of the differences between the two and hopefully make the decision easier. And if you are not already subscribed, make sure to do so. And without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the price, carbon bikes will generally be more expensive than aluminium bikes due to the manufacturing process and materials used. The process of making carbon bikes is more complex, time consuming and requires special equipment and expertise. In contrast, aluminium bikes are made from a relatively simple manufacturing process and the material itself is widely available and easy to work with. This means aluminium bikes offer better value for money. If you compare two bikes at the same price point, the aluminium bike will generally have better components. When it comes to weight, the carbon bike will most of the time be lighter than the aluminium bike as it is less dense, between 200 and 500 grams lighter. A lighter bike allows you to climb and accelerate faster and maneuver more easily because there is less weight to move around. However, nowadays the difference is not that great and most riders would not even notice the difference. Also, when considering weight, then you would also need to consider the components as this will also heavily influence the total weight. In terms of comfort, this is a very subjective topic. Carbon is generally considered to be more comfortable as the material itself absorbs and dampens vibrations. Also, engineers can fine tune the carbon layup to make the bike laterally stiff, but vertically compliant. This vertical compliance provides comfort over rough or bumpy terrain. Way back, aluminium bikes were built very rigid, giving it a bad rep in terms of comfort. However, nowadays engineers can achieve similar ride characteristics by varying the tube shape and width through hydroforming and butting. So the difference in comfort is not that great. If comfort is a major deciding factor for you, then rather take suspension systems, tires, pedals, handlebar and geometry, etc. into consideration, as this will play a bigger role. Another controversial topic is stiffness. Stiffness is how much the frame can resist deformation when force is applied. Important to note is that it does not mean your bike is better if it is more stiff. It is, however, important to have the correct level of stiffness in the correct areas. Both aluminium and carbon bikes can be made stiff. However, carbon bikes are considered to be more stiff. Also, once again, the possibility of being able to layer the carbon in different directions and areas allows engineers to really fine tune the stiffness to combat torsional and lateral forces. All in all, the more torsional stiff a bike is, the more responsive and predictable the handling will be especially in corners. If it is more laterally stiff, it also ensures that when pedaling, you are rather spending energy on pushing the bike forward and not wasting time on twisting the bike frame. Carbon in general has a much higher weight to strength ratio than aluminium and can take on a lot of abuse. However, aluminium is mostly considered to be more durable as it is more resistant to direct impact. When carbon suffers from direct impact, whether from a sudden accident when transporting a bike or screwing on components, the bike will often crack and completely break. Sometimes the crack is not visible to the eye and will fail tremendously and suddenly without warning. An aluminium bike, however, will first dent, then bend and then break and in most cases can still be rideable. However, if taken care of, the carbon bike will usually outlive the aluminium bike as it does not corrode and has a much higher fatigue resistance. While on the topic of durability, it is important to note that when a carbon bike is damaged, depending on the severity, can be easily repaired. An aluminium bike, however, is much more difficult and expensive to repair, and in most cases, makes more sense to replace the frame. In this case, it is the cheaper bike to replace, and on the upside, is also recyclable, unlike carbon frames. Either way, if you had to choose between a high quality carbon frame or high quality aluminium frame, nowadays you won't go wrong with either. It really comes down to what your budget is, whether you're a beginner or hardcore enthusiast, how much you are worried about weight, and how often you want to be constantly worrying about damaging your expensive carbon frame. All in all, it is important to get a bike that will make you happy and let you fully enjoy your riding experience. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. If you are looking to buy a carbon or aluminium bike, then visit us on bicycle.com. And until next time, peace.